What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. You don't hear that too often, but I, I tell you what, Joytech, the actual company, not Heaven's Gifts, not someone else, they said to me, hey listen, we want to know if you want to do a review on one of our products. Eh, sure. I always tell a company, sure, just keep in mind that I'm not a promoter, I'm just keeping it real. They sent it to me anyway. It's gonna be a starter kit. The reason why I'm doing this is the people that are just getting into vaping are gonna be looking up devices like this that are a starter kit. You know, just starting to vape and what to start on. I can't deter too far away from that. Now, there is gonna be real basic shit that I won't do reviews on, like the eye care or the K-Pin. I just can't do any of those because they're entirely too basic and the review's gonna be like 32 seconds. The one I'm gonna be doing a review on is the actual Cuboid Lite. If you have not seen my video on the Cuboid Pro, I'll go ahead and post a link right there. That is on the bigger brother of this and it didn't come with a tank I don't believe but you can get it with a tank however the review that I did didn't do it when I did that review I compared it versus the Smoant the Cuboid and then the H Cigar Toas this is an actual little itty bitty mini cutie patootie roll up on your booty starter kit this thing is dainty as hell built-in battery lipo for those of you that are just going to get into this and you don't want the hassle of taking the battery out charging it this is going to be real easy for you to up and go and bring it on bring it down show you about it show you how to work it there's really not a lot going on with this when i'm saying that i'm talking about really tiny like the vaporesso the taro mini cuboid light which is going to be a mini rendition of their pro which is a double battery jimmy jam this is a single lipo battery inside of this very very tiny with the exceed d22 which is the tank that is going to be sitting on the top of that obviously this is a sample because it was sent to me from joytech on the side got nothing special on the back a little baseball card statue all right so this is everything that is included in the box this is really directed towards people that are just going to start vaping or someone that just wants something real stealthy and small that they could carry around that they don't really care whether or not what happens to it dl head directly lung and MTL mouth to lung head. Basically when they're saying head they mean the element that actually heats up the atomizer. Scratch and sniff jammy. Vanilla scented. That is the box mom. Flip this up. We have a bunch of little pamphlets of sorts. A little warranty card. I can't speak too much on Joytech's warranty situation. I do know that I've had quite a few amount of people tell me that they've contacted Joytech for an issue that they had with one of the devices and Joytech told them that they need to go back to the original person that sold it to them and they don't validate products that are not from an authorized Joytech vendor. I definitely do not agree with that at all. If you are having a problem with a device, something of this nature, or any kind of device, you shouldn't have to go to the store because the store is going to take the hit on this device. Joytech is not, I repeat, is not going to validate something that is not from an authorized reseller which is absolutely ridiculous companies don't really clone mods anymore they still happen but joytech is going to know whether or not the thing is real and they should in fact validate their warranty you also get a wow this is a weird thing this is a manual i've seen this too often so this kind of folds out tells you all about the actual how to fill it and you can tell by looking at these pictures to fill this is top fill, but to replace it, you're gonna take the whole tank apart. The base is going to separate from the rest of the tank. Not gonna go over everything else in there because it's really self-explanatory. You know, if you're pretty tech savvy, you shouldn't have any issues with learning how to use this device. Now I'm hoping inside this box is not a broken tank. Those of you remember the Primo Mini, I opened this up and my tank was shattered and the coil was open. Looked like it was all used. Replacement glass sleeve in case if you break the glass, some extra O-rings of sorts, an extra coil, which apparently looks like it's gold plated. Haven't really seen something like this come with a tank. This is gonna be the 20 to 35 watt coil. This is gonna be the more direct lung, as you can see the size of the inner diameter of that coil. Absolutely super dainty, reminds me a lot of the spirals 
tank. Good airflow for such a small tank. Airflow is going to be on the bottom, but as you can tell, the airflow is only on one side. It's not on multiple sides. You'll see a lot of tanks doing this now. They just kind of make it just really one big one, sort of like the sub tank. On the top, that is going to thread off, and that is how you're going to fill it up. Real simple, real smooth. Now you see how I am unscrewing the bottom. That is how you will replace the coil on this. And now, looking at this coil, it's actually silver. The one on the left, the gold one, is going to be the direct lung. You can tell by the inner diameter and the wattage. 35 watts, that's pretty low. But then again, you're just starting out, so you're not really trying to get anything too ridiculous. On this one, you could see it's 5 to 14 watts. You're going to get amazing battery life out of this. Just keep in mind, look how small that inner diameter is. That's what your airflow is going to go through. So it's really really restrictive i mean that is a tight one that's a doozy i thought that the glass that came with this was a replacement glass in fact it is not that what it is is it comes with this little metal piece this glass here is in fact a replacement glass but it's not a direct replacement for this small one i'm assuming the small one is a two milliliter and then the tall one i guess would be double that four mil would be safe to say make sure you put the o-ring on the top there or even better, put it in that little area there. Now what you're gonna wanna do before you put that glass in, you're gonna wanna go ahead and screw this into here. So that is an extension tube. Glass goes on. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can take your coil, we're gonna be using the gold one, put that in here like so. I'm really surprised at how this is um, manufactured. What you're gonna wanna do before you do this is always take a couple drippy drabs of the juice that you're going to be putting inside of this tank and the reason is you want that cotton to saturate with what you got if you look inside here you'll see a metal ring and that sits where the cotton would be i guess to stop it from doing any kind of spit back pre-wicking as you see there is some juice in here it's going to be a little difficult to get in there just because the cotton is kind of underneath that if you want something more stealthy and small then go with the smaller glass or you could go with the bigger just because the bigger and then if you end up breaking it or losing it you do have a replacement smaller one just keep in mind you have to take the adapter off 510 very very standard kind of outdated but it's very very standard for any kind of starter kit a little long the issue you may have because they're threaded the same way you're gonna have to separate them and then tighten it down and then this way when you put it back on go ahead and screw this piece in now you don't want to go too crazy tightening because you can shatter the glass if you tighten this down too much so I do have a firm grip on that when you put this top back on try not to go too tight because if you go too tight when you try to take it off you're going to actually take out the extension so you see what i did there? i just did it right when it caught and then this way when i want to take it off just nice try not to make this tighter than as much as you tighten this now we will go over the mod and let that sit this whole time that we're talking so on the top there see what a 25 looks like on there it's you could get away with it i don't know why you would want to use a device like this with a dripper of this caliber but you could if you really wanted to as a 24 25 will work fine on this device so when you're ready to upgrade from the tank that it came with to a different tank because you're upgrading your gear so to speak you can still use this device and there is a screen protector on there there is no little tab to grab it you kind of have to either use your nails to get at it or you can gouge at it like i did with the screwdriver kind of scratch up the screen a little bit up here on the corner but it's nothing too severe and your fire button is going to be the whole length of the mod on the side so it is going to be a side fire you could fire it like that or you could fire it like this five clicks gonna fire it up very very easy to view nice it almost looks like an OLED display I'm wondering if it is or not I'm not quite sure as it doesn't say anything on the box but that does look like it's OLED so let's go over this on the bottom here you're gonna have two different buttons and up and down and that is gonna adjust your power real simple to get into the menu we're gonna do three clicks one two three see how the power blinks bypass basically that makes it like a mech mod you're only gonna use as much power as what the battery has the time temp if you're in temp and you go to the left that's going to go over to the type of temp basically what this is is temperature control very very intricate settings go into this then you go down here and then you can set the power temperature coefficiency ratings and then back to power now if you press the left when you're in power it's going to bring you down here to your puffs you can have it show time puffs the amount of amps that it's using to fire it up very very simple 
device to use. Very simple. That scrolling is absolutely hard. What are we... I'm sorry, that is the absolute slowest scrolling I've ever seen. You can count fat. Oh, there it goes. Hello. All right. So hold it down long enough, it'll eventually go. The coil that is in here cannot use a lot of power, so we are gonna start lower at the 22 region and then work our way up. All right guys, so we are back on top of the Cuboid Light with the Exceed 22 on the top. Keep in mind guys, this is a starter kit and that is the time. Probably not accurate, but it's there. I just wanna show you a couple things that I forgot to show you when I was down. First off, if you notice this, if you look at this, you will see I don't know how well you can see this, there's scratches already on the screen. And those scratches are actually from me taking a paper towel, Bounty, keep in mind, or Brawny. Bounty is a paper towel, is it not? It is. This is not Bounty, this is Brawny. Maybe it's neither. Maybe it's ShopRite brand. Don't really know. Either way, you take a paper towel, try to get your funk off of it, you're gonna scratch up the screen. Oops. Oops. One more thing I didn't show you. This tank is directed towards either mouth to lung and direct lung, not just because of the coils, but because of the settings. Now keep in mind when you're screwing this on, do not screw it too tight because it's gonna put a lot of pressure and you're not gonna be able to adjust the airflow on the bottom. Wide open. Now if you turn this a little bit, what you'll notice are these three little holes. You see them? I don't know how well you can see them, but those are three little holes so you could do one of these numbers. Not the lung. That's nice. That's a nice feature. So they're kind of double whammy. Someone that's just quitting that you want a tighter draw, you can do it with this. So we are working with a 32 watt build. Nope, this isn't a 32 watt build. We are working with the 0.5 coil in here at 32 watts. Let me show you some of the vapor production. The flavor in here is repulsive. This is why I don't like to do reviews on e-liquid because I would hate them all. Literally, I would hate them all. Let me show you some vape production. Let me get past the actual yuckiness of this flavor. It's not that this is causing spit back. It's causing drink back. It's not spitting into my mouth. It's either this flavor is so delicious that I'm drooling and I think that that's the liquid all over my lips or somehow, some fashion, the drip tip doesn't look wet. I'm getting a lot of stuff in my mouth. Yeah, that's all over my lips. You can tell by the airflow that I'm getting out of this. It's extreme. Like, I'm really impressed with the amount of airflow that you're gonna get with this. It's a lot. This coil says it does 35 watts, so like we always do, let's pump this bitch up. 80 watts on a coil that is rated for 35. This, uh, now guys, listen, if you are brand new into vaping, probably stop the video right here. Just stop, because now I'm gonna act like a total ass trying to get 80 watts out of a 35 watt coil. Don't try to do this. I'm just trying to see if I could do it. Let's do it. Great vapor production. Did you see? I do it again. nice right one more time talk about a stealthy vape you can't even see yourself vaping you ever seen a mod do this I have never seen it a, a mod do that whoa pump your brakes daddy-o that's not gonna work for you really you're not gonna tell me what I can vape. I'm gonna tell you what I can vape. So that's a good thing. It's a good feature. It's saying, hey, listen, man, these coils are not gonna work. So I guess they're taking the resistance and saying, listen, this is the max you're gonna get out of these coils. Let's not go crazy. Safe power settings, zero, 35. I'm gonna hit no. What's up? How you doing? Wow. 
Yeah, rocks. Rocks. Yeah, cool. So how would I rate this device on a zero to ten? Now keep in mind the rating that I'm about ready to give this is for a starter kit. It's not an all-around rating like I would normally do. For starter kits, this is gonna be a decent device that you may want to pick up just because it is really compact. And the tank Later on down the road, if you don't like mouth to lung anymore, you can essentially use this as a direct lung because it does have a lot of airflow. It's really tiny and it hits really, really hard. You do have to kind of go around the menu to figure out what to disable to stop certain things from happening, but it is pretty advanced for a little starter kit and it's nice that the screen is as vivid as it is. So if I was to rate this on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give it like a six, 6.5 for a starter kit. As a kit, out of the box, there's not going to be many that are going to look as good as this does for the price point that this is at. It's not expensive. I remember to get like an EVIC VTC kit, well, you were using external batteries, but they were like 80, 90 bucks. Not so much anymore. There's one thing you really, really, really have to take in consideration when you're buying a device with a built-in battery. You're only going to get X amount of charges with it. Now, unlike something where you put a battery in, take a battery out, charge it, whatever, that could last 12 years because every time, well, I don't know about 12 years, don't take that literally. It will last a lot longer than a LiPo because a LiPo on this, once this battery takes a shit, that's it. There's nothing else. Versus if it's an external battery and that battery dies and you've charged it too much, you can just go ahead and put a different battery in, brand new, starting fresh. That's where LiPos fall short, and that's one of the main reasons why I don't like LiPo. If you're just looking to start, go out and about, vape it up, whatever you get is what you get, this is a decent device to start. If you were to ask me what other recommendations I would have aside from just this one for a starter kit, there's not gonna be many, especially that have this vivid of a display and the amount of settings you can do with it. I'll never use this device just because I don't use starter kits anymore, but I definitely have to keep on the road of letting people People know about the starter kits and about advanced devices, high ends, cheapies, cheap ends, no ends, free stuff. Well, I don't ever do free stuff. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay